All right, welcome, you guys. Uh, direct variation. This is going to be Unit Two, the second lesson. Direct variation, straight off. It whenever you see the word direct variation, write out two equations: y equals k times x. Okay. And uh, y divided by x equals k. Okay. Now one equation will help you find y pretty simple. The other one will help you find K. Okay, so let's say you actually had a problem that you had to deal with. Okay, so if Y varies directly as, if, if X varies directly as Y and X equals 9 when Y equals 15, find X when Y equals 15. Okay, so normally this problem says, okay, if Y, if, let's switch it up. I'm going to switch up the letters because usually it's that way in the book. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's just switch them all up. Uh, the reason why you want to do this, and it, it just depends on the order of how you write out an equation, okay? All right, so if y varies directly as x and at y equals 9 when x is 6, find y when x is 15. Okay, so number one, you are going to, since you're given, you're just going to work with this first part and find k. So you find k here. Okay, and that's step number one. Okay, so find k here. So this equation is probably going to be the more likely one to be used first. So we do uh, 9 divided by 6 equals k. And we're going to simplify that to three halves. Okay, so that equals k. All right, now the second part is we're going to use that k with this second piece of information. And we're going to find y when x is 15. And we're going to use this first part. Okay, so we're going to use the other equation. y equals uh, parentheses 3 divided by 2 times x. Okay, so if you notice we have this all set up. We have an x value, so that's really cool. So we're just going to plug it in for x. So y equals parentheses 3 divided by 2 uh, times 15. Okay, and when you get done multiplying it out, you get y equals uh, 45 divided by 2 and if you wanted a decimal for that, which I highly recommend you don't do, uh, but it's just going to be 22.5. Okay? All right, so that's how a direct variation problem works. Uh, direct variations also have, have constant variation. Okay, so it will be, if you were looking at a table of values, okay, it would be going up or down constant values-wise. Okay, all right, now also looking at the actual equation, uh, y equals uh, k times x, okay, basically it's also, the, it's not the law of supply and demand, okay, that's indirect variation, we'll learn at the beginning of the next semester, but as y goes up x goes up as well because it has to balance because if you're multiplying by one number on one side it's going to increase the other side okay only when you're dividing is it inverse okay and as y goes down x goes down as well or as x goes up I'm sorry as x goes down y goes down as well so they're they're both going in the same direction they're both increasing so if you go back and check it y is 9 when x is 6 so if x all of a sudden increases to 15, y has to be bigger than 9, and sure enough, it did change out to be that way. So that's another way to check your work, too. All right, thank you guys, and have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.